Hey guys, today we're going to be doing some breakfast meal prep and with that we're going to be making McDonald's sausage burritos using a copycat recipe. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ingredients. We have eggs, petite diced tomatoes, and we've drained the liquid off of these. Same thing with the green chilies, dehydrated onion, American cheese, flour tortillas, and original pork sausage. As I mentioned earlier, I am meal prepping, which means I'm making a ton of burritos to last us for the next couple or few weeks. So we can just grab a burrito on our way to work without having to prepare a full meal. What that also means is that I'm using a lot of the individual ingredients. So for example, you see three dozen eggs here. I wouldn't normally use three dozen eggs for a single breakfast, of course, but in this case, because I'm meal prepping, I'm using a lot more quantity of the individual ingredients. And what I've done is I've broken down the ingredient list in the description and you can adjust depending on how many burritos you're planning to make. Let's first wrap these tortillas in some aluminum foil and get them into the oven on a low heat setting just to help warm them up a little bit. When the tortillas are warm, they're a lot easier to fold and they're less likely to break or crumble as we're preparing the burritos. Next, we're going to prepare the sausage. You can see that I have a baking sheet here that I've lined with parchment paper. The parchment paper will keep the sausage from sticking to the pan and it will also make it a lot easier and more efficient to clean up after we're done baking the sausage. What we're going to do is open up this package and you'll see that I'm just going to take a very small amount of the sausage and I'm going to roll it into a small ball and then I'll place it on the parchment paper and we'll line out the rest of them. This is very tedious, it takes a lot of time and is definitely not required. What you could do is just cook it on the stove like you would cook ground beef and that's a lot quicker. I've just found that this is the only way that I can get it to actually look like the sausage that you see in the McDonald's sausage burritos. So I'm going to go ahead and roll out the rest of these and then we'll get them in the oven. We're going to bake these in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. To rehydrate the onions, we're going to pour them into a bowl and then we'll top them off with some boiling water. And finally, we're going to cover this with some plastic wrap and let it sit for at least three to four minutes. And after the onions are rehydrated, then we can go ahead and strain them out before we incorporate them in with the tomatoes and the green chilies. Now it's time to crack the eggs into a bowl. You can add in a splash of water or milk to help make them fluffier. And then we're going to scramble them on the stove in batches until all of the eggs have been cooked. Now that the sausage has been baked, the eggs have been scrambled, the onions have been rehydrated, we can go ahead and mix the ingredients together to prepare the filling. First, we're going to start by heating up our pot with some olive oil or avocado oil. We'll add in the dehydrated onions. We'll let those cook for just a couple minutes. Then we'll add in the diced tomatoes. Again, let those simmer. Then we'll add in the green chilies and let those cook for another minute or two. 
Next, we'll add in the cooked sausage, mix that up, and then we can start adding in the scrambled eggs. You may have to do that in batches if you're doing a large amount like I'm doing for this meal prep session. At this point, we want to turn the heat off. We don't need to continue cooking this and we actually want it to cool down. What we've found is that if we assemble the burritos when the filling is really hot, it creates a lot of moisture inside of the burritos. So when we freeze them and then we heat them up in the microwave, they're a little bit soggy. So what we like to do is just let the filling cool down a little bit before we assemble them. The filling is prepared, it's cooled down, so we can go ahead and start making our burritos. We're going to start with a flour tortilla, then we'll take a slice of American cheese, we'll just break it in half, place that down, put on a scoop of the filling, and then we're going to start folding up the burrito. We can set that aside, and then when we're ready to package the burritos, we're actually going to roll them up in some parchment paper, and then we'll put all of the burritos into a freezer bag, and then we'll place those into the freezer. I hope you found this video helpful. The only thing we're missing is the hot picante sauce. I have no idea how to make that. If anybody does, I would completely be in your debt and I would be super excited if we could actually obtain a recipe for that. So keep it in mind. If you do happen to have one, drop it in the comments. I'd love to check it out and we will see you again soon.